In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use RemNote's text referencing feature to help us collect a whole bunch of ideas and to-dos that need to be done, but they're just random. They don't particularly belong to a category. So let's say we are working on some task, like writing an essay. And as we're writing that essay in the body paragraph, say for example, we think, oh, here's a random thought. Well, all we need to do is type in the name of our uh, particular category. So if we've called ours hashtag rand. Now, the reason for calling it hashtag rand, including the hashtag, the reason for that is because we want it to stand out and not be missed in part of the text. So we're going to type in hashtag rand and just to make it extra clear, I've bolded it as well. If we go across to our document here, we can see that hashtag rand doesn't kind of yield any results. So if we go back to our essay, we're going to actually select hashtag rand and we're going to press square bracket, open square bracket and type oh, and press hashtag rand. Now, when we open that now, it's going to appear as a reference. We're going to hide that but we're going to, in future, look for text references. So if we go back to our essay, um, let's say that later on we're working on another body paragraph. Get rid of that to-do list. And we want it to appear in our hashtag rand document. We're just gonna type in hashtag rand and make it bold for reference. And we're just gonna leave that. If we open up the hashtag rand folder now, we can see that there is a text reference. We've got one rem reference where we first created the rem reference. We've also got a text reference, the one we just created. Now it is important to note, it appears that rem notes text referencing doesn't turn on by default until you have created one actual rem reference to this rem. And I believe the reason they do that is because uh, they're wanting you to realize that this is a rem that has particular uh, meaning because it's been referenced and they want you to find any references that you may have missed as text references. But the main idea here is that whenever we're doing something in whatever document it is, whether it's writing an essay, whether it's taking lecture notes, all we would have to do is we'd have to type in hashtag rand. And as long as, we, as long as we've referenced it at least once, all of those will appear down here in the text references, thus keeping some sort of order to all of our random thoughts or random to do's. This is essentially an alternative to using tags. It's just a little quicker. But if you've got any thoughts, any comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.